Hello, welcome to the Eldenwood Craft Podcast. This is usually my podcast all about my crafty life, but today I'm just popping in to announce a winner from my Christmas bag giveaway. If you watched episode 19, which was the last podcast, you'll remember that I was giving away this beautiful project bag from Anne at Busy Pottering. Thank you ever so much, Anne, for for donating. It's very much appreciated. Um, I asked you to leave comments in the thread below um, the video telling me what your favourite Christmas tradition is and I have drawn a winner at random. Before I announce the winner, let me just show you the prize again, keep you in suspense. So the prize is Anne's beautiful project bag with these Christmassy stags on and her jingly father christmas turn it around so you can see doesn't want to turn around let's turn it that way there we go father father christmas rattles jingles as he should um i was also throwing in some stitch markers some eldenwood craft stitch markers an eldenwood craft knit notes book and a bag of minis So that's the prize. The winner that I have drawn at random is, if I find the name again, um, so the winner is Amanda Long. Congratulations, Amanda. I don't know where you live. um, So if you get in touch with me, send me a uh, direct message either through Ravelry or Instagram, or you can email me hello at eldenwoodcraft.co.uk any way like that and I will find it um, Amanda's comment was uh, my favourite thing about Christmas is getting together with all the family for lunch and spending time together this is not always on Christmas Day itself as a number of us work for the NHS so it usually happens when we all have our first day off together this year will be extra special as my daughter is home from New Zealand so we will all be so we will all be together round the table how lovely i have really enjoyed reading all the messages that were that all the comments that were left setting out your um christmas traditions there seem to be a lot that um people have carried on down through the generations there are a lot of people who play board games and other games on christmas day Um, there's obviously a lot of food and drink involved and family and it was just really it was really lovely sitting down today reading them all Um, so thank you ever so much to everybody who entered While I'm here, I thought I should show you a little bit of knitting. It is a knitting podcast after all. And um, let me just show you the the progress that I've been making on a new sock. This is a brand new cast on since the last time I podcast. And if you remember, I was going to cast on the Acorn socks by Hannah of Yarnia Designs. I did so. And this is the progress so far. Um, As you can see, it's a cuff it's a toe up toe up sock i've just reached the gusset increases so i've just started those and um i shall oh, i've just noticed a drop stitch no it's not ah. um so yeah so i've been making some reasonably good progress on those over the last few days the yarn just as a reminder is this gorgeous sweet skein of mine um gray and blue colorway that was a love uh, gift from my lovely friend Kelly. Hello Kelly. Thank you. And um, yeah, so that's just the progress. There's not much to say about it at the moment. All the fun in the sock really gets going when you um, turn the heel and um, you finish the the heel flap and um, you start on the lace pattern, which will eventually become um, a representation of some acorns. So that is what you will see hopefully next time I podcast.
Anyway, I said it was going to be a short and sweet episode and that is where I'm going to be leaving it. So congratulations to Amanda. If you contact me or don't forget to contact me to let me know your address and I will get your prize in the post as soon as possible so that it reaches you hopefully before Christmas. It should do. Um, and until the next time I podcast, which I'm hoping will be the weekend just before Christmas, so just a couple of weekends time, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Decembers. I hope you enjoy the festive celebrations if you if you um, do celebrate and um, I hope you find lots of time for some crafty goodness. So until the next time, sending you lots of love. Bye bye.